Hey y'all, my name is Ben Toma. I'm the host of Creative Mornings Austin, and I'm so glad you could be here for the very first Creative Mornings Texas. Everyone is creative. Everyone is creative. Everyone is creative. A creative life requires bravery and action. Honesty and hard work. We are here to support you celebrate with you and encourage you to make the things you love. We believe in the power of community. We believe in giving a damn. We believe in face-to-face -face connections. In learning from others. In hugs and high fives. When we're not social distancing. We bring together people who are driven. By passion and purpose. And inspire change in neighborhoods and cities around the world. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome to Creative Mornings Texas. James is gonna be coming to us live uh, from the great uh, Texas city of Georgetown, uh, where he is being hosted by Brady Clark and Ryan Brace of Fetch Brothers Screen Printing. James, what is there to say? He's a man of many talents. He draws pictures that end up at MoMA, he writes books that land on bestseller lists. He gives talks that are shared globally. He mentors and teaches both the student and the executive. He looks into your soul and shows you what has always been there, but you were too damn afraid to look for yourself. He's had a most interesting life, and it is incredibly generous of him to share a portion of it with us here this morning. Uh, please help me in welcoming the one and only James Victoria. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that introduction was slightly scary. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, Ben, uh, for inviting me. Thank you, uh, Creative Mornings. And thank you guys watching because I know that you have so many options. You have so many th other things, uh, other distractions, uh, but this one is fucking worthwhile. And uh, so special, thank you and welcome to the special episode of Creative Mornings for shut-ins. Um, uh, and for Tina, darling, for starting this whole ball rolling. Thank you, a beautiful girlfriend of mine. Um, and uh, I just, I wanna say that I've, I've brought some notes. I generally don't use notes, but I brought some notes because I've got something to say and um, I don't want to miss anything. I am a teacher, so I am much more interested in a Q&A after this because that's where we learn, that, that with, with the give and take, with the, with the questions, not just me yapping about. Um, but I've been, um, 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 I've been blessed in my career as a designer, as a creator, as an author, as a, as a, as a bon vivant, if you will. Um, and I have made um, beautiful, memorable, meaningful, moving work. And I'm not going to show any of it to you today uh, because I've been asked to talk about purpose. Uh, having a purpose, finding a purpose, but more importantly, living purposefully, right? So bear with me. Um, I do not have much time, so let's, let's get through this thing. Um, most people do not have a purpose. So I'm a writer and a, uh, a teacher, and I have to deal with the truth. And the truth is most people do not have a purpose. Most people are lost. And uh, what they do have is patterns and habits. Most people live their lives reacting to the world. The world comes at them and they react. And they generally react at the same time every time, right? So there's no, there, there, there's no drive. There's nothing pushing them. There's only reacting to the world. The world comes at them and, and, and they react. And that means, that means every day is the same. That means we have no curiosity about our lives, or, or we're not curious about how we do things and why we do things. I mean, most people on the planet, um, they work in order that they get paid. 
And if you're in the creative industry, to work just to get paid is a complete waste of your talent and a complete waste of your gift and a waste of your time. And the truth is, you know that. I mean, I deal with, in a coaching situation, I deal with so many people who have jobs that, that, that pay well, that have bought them the, the second house and the mortgage and the wife and the kids and all that stuff. And it makes them completely frustrated and unhappy because they don't have a purpose or they've left their purpose in order to make money. And I know this from my own purpose, from my own life. I've done this a number of times. I left my creative purpose in order to make money as a designer. I left my life purpose and ended up um, um, unhappy and in bad relationships. So let me talk to you about this. A purpose is, is a reason to get out of bed in the morning. It's as easy as that. A purpose is a drive. A purpose is a reason, a direction, right? Most people, the, the, the easiest way to define a purpose or to, to explain a purpose is most people don't have a purpose unless the house is on fire. Then it's like, fuck, get gone, right? That's awesome. That drive, that movement, that excitement, right? Your, direction, your, your purpose is your north star. It's a path that you follow. It's how we get through. It's how we, it's how we follow through with our commitment to ourselves. And most of us don't know this. Really, most of us don't know it. You know, we were, I was in a chat room earlier and people were saying, well, my, you know, my purpose is this and this and this. And I'm like, yeah, okay, that's good. That's for now. You're doing more push-ups now. That's cool. You know, but what about the plan? What about when this is over? Where's your, where's your guidebook? Where's your path? Where's your map? Right? That's, this is what we're talking about. You know, who teaches this shit? Nobody. You, you can't learn this stuff in school. Who teaches this shit? James Victoria does. So we have these long tenured patterns of how we react to the world. So we're only reacting. We're only coming from our, un, from our subconscious or our unconscious brains. We're not living consciously. We're not able to take those thoughts and take those reactions and bring them into our frontal cortex and be curious about them and ask questions about our patterns and our habits, why we do this. And if we don't do that, what happens is these patterns and habits follow you through life. So you, 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 you leave a job because you're unhappy for a number of reasons, but you get into a new job and you find out that those reasons have followed you and you're like, what the fuck? Or you fail in one relationship and you move into another relationship and the same thing starts happening because the person you're with has become a mirror to all of your patterns and habits. And you're like, why does this keep happening? It's because you don't have a purpose because you haven't been curious about your life about your habits, about your patterns. So we respond unconsciously. So what I'd like to do is a little bit more of a how-to, like how to define your purpose, how to find your purpose. And a lot of you might say, oh, I, I got no idea where to start. I do, and I can help you. And I would probably start by looking at your Instagram profile. You know, you started it there. You're like, I like, art and running and beer. Well, there you go. That's a good start. You're beginning to define yourself. You're beginning to declare who you are. These are not particularly standards that you're going to live by beer, you know, um, or commitments. They're just things you like. We have to get more curious about those. We have to get more precise about those. We have to get more, more purposeful, more, intentional because that's what we're talking about intentional living conscious living living purposefully with a reason capiche you with me and the reason we do this there there are a bunch of reasons there are a number of reasons why we why we want to declare and define our purpose and one of the biggest ones is boundaries because it sets boundaries and most of us don't have boundaries most of us, because we don't have set boundaries in our lives, we don't, we don't have the barriers, we don't have the goals, we don't have the, the, the edges of us. So what we have is, is we say yes a lot when we mean no. And therefore we become people pleasers. Again, we just, we work to make money or we, or we take on jobs because someone asked us 
or we move into these different parts of our lives because it became available, because the wind blew, because the telephone rang, because the job opened up, you took a job. But we don't ask ourselves these important questions, right? So we're just reacting again. And we're not standing for anything either, right? That's the other thing about boundaries. Boundaries allows you to say no. Boundaries allows you to define who you are and to stand for something, you know? So um, what we want to do is try to find out our true self. We want to find out who we really are and then follow that. And you know who you really are. And so let's start like this. Do you know your purpose? Because I do. I know your purpose. Okay, so I know your purpose. Your details are gonna be, you know, the 8,000 people who are listening right now, your details are gonna be different. Your details are gonna be about your particular life and your particular where you live and the things you want and things you don't want, right? But your purpose is all the same. And the purpose is like this. You came here in this planet, in this life to fully experience what this wonderful writer once said, to fully experience the things that made you weird as a kid, right? The things that made you weird as a kid make you great today. And the things that made you weird as a kid were play, were joy, were song and dance and, and puns and, and, and f creative freedom. You came here to experience that. You came here to experience your life's work to do your life's work, not to do whatever your boss handed across the table, not to do just whatever comes up, right? You came here to experience your life's work, to, 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 you came here to, to be in this crazy body with all these guts. You got all these miles of intestines and, and, and a brain that will think up things that have never been thought before. You came here to experience this. You came here to have fun. You came here to possibly, possibly even experience joy. Once. Finding a purpose in your work is cool. Finding a purpose to, in your work is cool because it allows you to um, um, make work that matters. And make work that matters. Making work that matters means making work that matters to you. Making work that matters to you. Because if it doesn't come from you, I don't get it. So many people like, they do work that doesn't come from them. And I'm like, why don't just work in Walmart? I don't get it. What we're talking about here is this idea of self-focus. Because everything comes from that. Everything comes from this. I know for a fact that everything comes from this in me. All of my love comes in here. All of my creativity comes in here. And then, it goes, and then it goes out into the world. But if I can Im embody this, if I can live my purpose, define who I am and be that person, then, then the relationships I want come to me. Then the money I want comes to me. Then the work I want comes to me. The health and the life I want comes to me. And it's no longer, it's no longer out craving and trying a number of different things. It's no longer like, let's do this. Well, I don't know. Let's try that for a while. Well, let's try this. You know, then all the answers come to me. Um, the way to begin to define your purpose is there's three questions you have to answer. Three questions. Who am I? What do I want? And where do I want to go? Now, the funny thing is, these questions are hard. I mean, you probably feel it already. And I can feel your energy through this, through this camera and outside of this room, I can feel it already. You're like, what the fuck? So, who am I? What do I want? And where do I want to go? It's going to take you a week, maybe two weeks to answer these questions because you have to do it correctly, right? Um, it's like the Instagram feed, right? I like art, I like running, and I like beer, right? We have to learn to be more specific to really define who we are. Now watch this. Me, James Victoria. I am uh, creative. 
I'm a father. I'm a, a loving partner. I'm a sexual being. I'm, I've got a list here. I like motorcycles. Um, I'm a writer. I'm a teacher. I like to play pool. Um, I like my solitude. And that's just the start. But it's also not specific. Like the top of the list is, you know, the first thing that I come up with, ah, I'm creative. But everybody's creative. That's not specific to me. Marty, creative motherfucker over here at the camera. Awesome. Hey, thanks for all your help, dude. Uh, Brady, whose place we're in, wildly creative guy. Me, I'm a fucking creative force. Do you see the difference between being creative and being a fucking creative force? That means everything I do creatively has to come from that. That means as a runner, I'm not a jogger. I don't go three miles and quit. No, I'm a fucking runner. And I, in the middle of my run, I need to drop and do push-ups and quads and then get back up and go and be out of breath and, and almost pass out, but keep on going. That, I need that in my body. I, my body needs to exchange all those chemicals. It needs to breathe out all that bad air. I like to meditate. I need to get to those places or at least try to get to those places. I gotta be specific. You gotta be specific. That's just who I am. And next question, what do I want? And that means, what do you want? What do you need? In your love life, what do you need? In your relationships, what do you need? Health, what is it gonna take? What do I want in my health? What do I want? In my attitude, what do I want? Right, does it make sense? Who am I? Big list of things. What do I want? It's going to be a big list of things. And the way you, so let's go back to, let's go back to um, who am I? It's going to be a big list. And there's going to be, quite frankly, things that don't need to be on that list. And the way you decide, the way you find out what needs to be and doesn't need to be on the list is you, you, when, you def, when you make this list, then you read through them out loud and you see, you take a moment and see how your body feels about each one of those things. Because sometimes your body says, eh, and sometimes your body says, yes, I'm a fucking creative force. It changes how I sit up, right? That's a yes. That stays on the list. The other things you can have, but that's the list, right? Same thing for what, I, what do I want? What do I want health-wise? What do I want? And health-wise, for example, that means you're not going to take anything outside of that. See what we're doing? We're starting to create boundaries. Anything outside of the list is not you. You do not accept. Relationship-wise, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Now, when you're in a situation, you have your answers. This is not what I want. Thank you. Always say thank you. It's just cool. It's just nice. The next part is, where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? And most people are like, wow, I... <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. How, how do I even, how do I even? And we do, we do. It's a funny thing. How, it's funny how we lie to ourselves so easily, how we, we let those, those restrictions, those limitations, those patterns. And by the way, the patterns for most of us, I have to tell you, they're not yours. They're not yours. They were given to you by other people. Well-meaning, concerned people who wanted to keep you safe. I was in a coaching call the other day and this gal was like, yeah, my parents wanted, they were very supportive of me going to art school and me being creative, but they wanted me to get a degree as a lab technician. I'm like, okay, so they didn't fucking support you really because what they embedded in your lizard animal brain was you're not gonna make it. It's not gonna pay. And she was still living from that place, you see? And what we have to do is be able to go back to that, and I have to go back there all, often to the five-year-old, seven-year-old Jimmy and go, hey, kid, you didn't know. Those patterns, those habits, they're not yours. You gotta let them go. Be kind and loving to them, look at them, be curious about them, but then you gotta let them go. And say, I see you, okay? So, who am I, what do I want, and where do I wanna go? Where do I wanna go, you know what that is? You guys have dreams. You guys have dreams, you guys have daydreams and you're like, well, wouldn't it be cool if the, the gal I was talking to the yesterday, uh, the coaching call, she was like, I said, hey, it was her name is Taryn. I said, Taryn, wouldn't it be cool to be paid just to be Taryn? She's like, oh my God, that'd be awesome. I'm like, that's it. 
that feeling inside, you want that all the time. I get paid to be James Victory. I'm not embarrassed about it. It's not, there's no ego involved. Well, maybe a little bit of ego. There's no ego involved. It's just, this is what I want. This is my purpose. That means I don't have to make anything up. I don't have to go searching for any answer. Because when you have a purpose, all you have to do is look inside. Remember, all your answers are there. And the answer is constantly, what do I want? At this moment, what do I want? So where do I want to go? And that means, where do you want to go? What's, what is following that daydream, turning that daydream into reality. And that's the thing, these dreams, these dreams you have, oh man, wouldn't that, wouldn't that be great? You know why you're having that dream? It's because it's yours already. It's fucking yours already. Wake up. It's yours already. Just go get it. There are multiple versions of you. There's the you here, now, Beautiful, exquisite, talented. And then there's a you six months from now who hasn't done jack shit to find their purpose. A little more frustrated, a little bit more pissed off. And then there's the you six months from now, a year from now, who's listening, who's getting this, who's feeling it in their body, and who's following that dream and becoming that queen, that king that power, that creative fucking force, right? It's cool. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I love my job. <laughs> and this is, my, this is my purpose. I have renewed my purpose. It used to be making images. It used to be social, cultural, political posters. Not the graphic design shit. I was getting, that was just getting, I was getting paid I'd found my purpose very early on, social, cultural, political posters. I wanted to be the best in the world. I kind of got there. And then I kind of needed to make money and I left my purpose. And now I have a new purpose and this is it. And the, the who am I, uh, the where do I want to go? It's creative visualization. You guys are good at this. You guys are good at this. You guys are good at like imagining the most amazing scene of, 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 of creativity and power and wealth and how it affects all the other people around you. We're good at this. We're good at dreaming. But the dreams that are gonna come to you are yours. Go get them. Go get them. It's just gonna take the work. It's just gonna take doing the work. And it's just gonna take looking inside. And that brings us to the ultimate thing is what I'm really talking about. And what I'm really talking about is an idea that comes up often when I'm working with other people. And it's a foreign idea for all of us and it's called self-love. Because you love yourself and you care about yourself so much. And you care about this creativity and this gift so much that you will define a purpose for it. And that everything that you do will come out of that. And it's not about being narcissistic. It's not about not loving. It's about completely loving everybody else. It's about, it's about, it's about being love. It's about being a purpose. That's attractive. It makes you attractive to money. It makes you attractive in relationships. It makes you attractive in business. It brings in, it brings in friends. It brings in lovers. It brings in an audience. It brings in clients because now you have standards, you have a purpose, you have boundaries. And answering those three questions is just the start. Because when you answer those three questions, those are gonna lead to more questions. When you start being curious about your life um, and all the energy is flowing through it, you're gonna start being curious, you're gonna start learning more about you and your self-love and self-focus, right? It's deep shit, man. Uh, and most people come to me because they have pro professional questions. Hey, James, my, my, uh, you know, I've had this agency for a bunch of years and like, I want to keep my people, but they're starting to leave. And then we're having a product productivity problem and blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, listen, it's you, you're bored. And they go, oh fuck. And I go, and I say, Hey, tell me about your relationship. Tell me about, you know, how's it going with your wife? And he's the guy's like, oh fuck. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's pissing in all your pools, man. Get back on the beam, get back to find that purpose. Why did you start this agency in the first plug in place? The things that made you weird as a kid make you great today. Get back to that play, get back to that joy. 
get back to singing and dancing and goofing and not giving a fuck. You know, yes, having a purpose gives you commitment. It gives you determination. It gives you some gravitas. It gives you uh, uh, a command of yourself. All these things that make you really attractive, but that's not the purpose. The purpose is self-love. The purpose is that you can have some freedom in your life, that you can find your true self. And then everything you desire is easier because you're saying no to all the bullshit, right? You know, my wish for you is for all of you to find yourself, to find yourself. Don't worry about the work. Work, work, it's never about the work. Hey James, would you look at my portfolio? No, it's not about the work. It's about you. It's about how you think about it, how you feel about it, what it, how, how, what it makes you feel like. Right? Um, I want you to all learn to define and declare. Declare, own your purpose. And then find that freedom in your life. Find that freedom, find, find that, that, that the command of who you are. Find your true self. And listen, that's a lot. And here's my hope. I hope that you're all safe and, 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 and creating, the, the, and this is part of it too, part of the, creating that, self, that safe space here, that safe space here so that you can hold others in a safe space. I hope you're all healthy. We will get through this quarantine. We will get through this virus and we will get through it smarter and we will get through it stronger. And this I know, we will get through it with a renewed sense of ourselves and a renewed love of everybody else and a renewed commitment and love and desire for this, for ourselves. I'm James Victoria. I love you. Thank you.